Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We're playing Risk of Rain 2 again. In the previous episode, we tried to unlock our first artifact. I did a poll on my Discord asking people if they would rather see me painstakingly unlock all of the artifacts in videos or if I should unlock some of them off camera. Pretty much everyone said that off camera would be better, so I've gone and got quite a few of the interesting ones here. Um, and we are going to go play as my favourite character, the Loader. Um, and the artifacts we're going to be choosing today are Artifact of Command, being able to choose our own items. Um, we'll go with, so we've got enemies can spawn as elites, 5% damage, 10% HP. Um, monsters can appear, appear outside of their normal environments, I like that one too. Um, monsters drop item on death, but chests no longer spawn, I like that one. Um, monsters will only be of one type per stage, I'm not going to put that one on, but that one is interesting. And monsters spawns are doubled, but their maximum health is halved, we're going to go for that as well. So now that's a pretty interesting setup. We also have a randomizer here. Uh, the randomizer is pretty awesome. We're going to be playing on Rainstorm, basically normal difficulty. And that's a good, nice set. If you're wondering what the loader bot is all about, loader is a very heavy melee movement style character. You're using your fist and like zooming into people. Think of Doomfist from Overwatch, any of you that know that game. Um, he's very, very similar to that. And he's got a little grappling hook to get about. He's just by far my favourite, just because of how mobile he is and how much damage he really does. So as you can see here, we've got this little grapple and then we've got this punch. And he's got these big old fists. So we're going to be killing things. There's going to be a lot more enemies than usual. Because like I said, double enemy spawns. The only thing is, we don't find chests anymore. So money isn't really very valuable. There's one of the enemies from the other floors right there already. Um, and yeah, enemies are going to be dropping items. There's not going to be any chests for us. But as you can see, the damage of this boy is pretty immense. That guy's dead already. But there will be another one of those somewhere. Because remember, they have, everything spawns in doubles at the minute. Also, this guy doesn't take fall damage. That is huge for me. Absolutely huge. Uh, so let's have a little look, see here. Where are we going? We've got a few more to unlock in terms of artifacts as well. I can have a look at maybe unlocking some more of those in the future. Uh, but you guys should really leave comments down below. And let me know what combinations of uh, artifacts you want me to use. Even if I don't have an un unlocked areas. Even if I don't have them unlocked, feel free to leave comments telling me because I can um, unlock them off camera and try and use them in the future. I know there's going to be some people that are going to be sadists and say use them all or um, the glass cannon one and things like that. But we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll have a little little peek around with it but yeah so you might have seen as well um one of the things i just threw was like a little metal disc thing this here so that thing zaps things but it also acts as an anchor point for us to swing off of you can use that to um swing around also you can use our little grappling hook thing to pull enemies in and our fist is actually the um the changed version of the fist it's not the original uh, because now, instead of zooming through enemies and passing through them, we zoom towards them, as you'll see here, and a big lightning strike comes out of the back of the enemy and hits anything that's behind them. So, so far, we haven't had any enemies. There's a few boys down here. Uh, we haven't had any... No, not enemies, sorry. We haven't had any, uh, any drop spawn from enemies, so we definitely need to be on the lookout for those when they appear. Boom. Just look at that damage. It's beautiful. We know where our teleporter is, though, at least. Get that thrown. Gonna take all those out. I'm really hoping to get like one or two uh, items before we go against the boss. And another thing this this uh, enemy has that, uh, sorry, this uh, character has that I really really like that uh, really helps him out with being a melee character is his fists. When you swing at enemies, you gain a temporary shield. So if we run up to this guy and we hit him, you see that little shield that goes around us there. I actually, use this little lunar coin thing here. Um, a new few few more little froggy guys up here, I think. So we'll loop our little way up here. Boom. Got one. Got another. We need to be careful of these little icicle things because they will freeze us like that. Yep. Get out the way. Get out the way. Our boss will still give us an item as well, so that's good. But you, you tend to find that with this uh, combination that I have right now, you'll get less items early, but a lot more items later on, uh, which I'm actually a fan of. For me, that works out a lot better. Let me throw that over there. We do got to watch enemies when they die, though, to make sure they don't drop an item, we leave it behind sort of thing. I'm surprised we haven't got any items yet. What we'll do now is we'll go and activate our boss and just see if we get any from uh, killing enemies or killing the boss itself. You can actually get an item for do doing the teleporter, but also one for actually killing the boss itself. Remember, bosses will spawn as doubles with half HP each. That's a lot of wisps, my god. Um, no items as of yet. 
even still. But you can see this guy just demolishes bosses. I absolutely love him. Once we start getting our items and start choosing what we want, is really where it starts getting interesting. So we got our first item from our actual boss, but so what you'll see here is we go up to it. We'll make sure we we'll kill all the enemies around first. We're getting a lot of ice champions, a lot of ice champions. Um, we'll go up to it, open it, open it. It'll give us a choice of what we want. So here I'm gonna go with a uh, guillotine, which basically means elites will die faster. That's just a, a really, really like good guaranteed one to get. That's always going to give us value, especially if the boss spawns as an elite. That it works on the bosses too, so that's a really good one to have. Let's kill a few more of these guys. Hopefully, we get one or two more items before we leave here. As you can see, the electricity that this sort of pummels out of its fists when it hits an enemy is so powerful. It does so much more damage than the initial attack. Boom, get a few of those going. My god, the frosty boys. We're actually gonna take quite a lot of damage here. Gotta be careful. Quite a lot of enemies, as you can imagine. Double enemy spawns does mean you get hit a lot more. Got a blue portal here. Sadly, only one item this first floor, which is way below average. I would say on average, you normally, normally get at least three on the first floor. So that's actually really unfortunate, really unfortunate indeed. But we are now at the uh, at this shop here, which is excellent for us. So we'll come over here and we will buy this here, which, oh look, it's a passive. Um, oh look, it's a passive. Oh look, it's a passive. And then we'll open it up. We can choose whatever we want. I really like going for lots and lots of gesture of the rounds. When we get an active item, it will get used automatically with a massively reduced cooldown. With having three of these, it'll be even more massively reduced, leading to some crazy shenanigans. Um, now we can just be on our way. Oh, I missed. No. Wait, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Good, good, and we're good to go. I always take at least, at least as many of the Chester of the Drowns as I can find, because they're they're just so good. They, they lead to some crazy, crazy shenanigans. Um, hopefully this floor we do a lot better for items. As I said, we we're always going to start off with a lot less items than we would on a normal run. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. But as you can see, the movement speed on this guy is exquisite. I love playing as a loader. Get over here. Mm. As you can see, enemies are appearing outside of their normal environment. That is one of the modifiers we have on. So we are going to see some harder enemies appearing. And it's possible we see some harder bosses appearing too. It's quite a big thing. Uh, get over here. Punch you. I did hear another bird somewhere. you got to remember, whenever one thing spawns, there's always another. I think he's up here. We've got one of these guys. More ice guys. Going to be killing elites a little bit quicker here. We've basically taken 10% off their health already. The more guillotines we get, the better that becomes. Try and group him up here. We'll take care of this brass contraption here. Hey, there's our first item drop from an actual monster. An actual enemy. So, in terms of white items, for, for defense, I always like to go for Topaz Brooch. Because that temporary shield we get normally, it basically just gives us more of that. I try to get at least three of those, um, and that leads to some really, really high amounts of shields, especially when attacking bosses, and that's going to give us some much-needed security. We've already got the damage we need right now, so we just need to go for defense off the bat. And here's our first active item, which is great. So we'll take out these guys. There's another item. Very, very nice indeed. So there's a lot of things we can go for here, but one of the things I really like to go for is this here. Because it sucks loads of enemies in from a really, like, far distance. And it's super, super useful with this guy. So we'll go for another Topaz Brooch. Try and load up on a few of those. Already getting good items here, though. And you're going to see that every 20 or so seconds, we just fire one of those primordial cubes automatically. I could have gone for the Royal Capacitor, uh, which is like a lightning strike call down attack. But I feel like this just helps the loader bot so much more. But Boom. Another item. So we've got our three uh, Topaz Brooches now. We're going to be seeing quite a lot of barriers on kill and on hit. Um, it should really, really help us out. Right. Right here. That's very, very nice. 
Maybe the Topaz Bros got changed, actually. One second, I'm just, I am going to go and check this really quick. I don't think it did. No, it doesn't look like it did. Because I swear it was on hit before, not on, on kill, but maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just wrong. Right, uh, we'll wait around a little bit more, see if anything more spawns, and then we'll go straight for our boss. Okay. Get some more boys here. That thing's doing so much damage, it's lovely. Goodbye, then we'll wait for this to come back around. And uh, spawn our boss in. Fun's on about five seconds. We'll get another primary little cube going. Get over here, boom. I love attacking those guys with this guy, it's so fun. Just pull them in, reel them in. We've got Stone Titan here. So we should be absolutely fine, this guy. As you can see, we are getting a lot of shield per hit here. It must be per hit, not per kill, because we're getting so much on bosses, unless it's specifically different for bosses. We actually went through that guy as he died there. And where's the other one? There he is. Oh, we've got caught on a ledge here. That's not good. All right, let's take this guy out. But as you can see, we're almost doubling our health with our Topaz Brooches right now. It's super, super useful. And this guy's going down very quickly. There you go, he's down. We get our next green item. I'm not really decided on what I want from that yet. Uh, we need to take these guys out. Stat. This guy's going to be a problem. In fact, I'm going to move myself away a little bit. There you go. Good, good. I think we got an item there, but I think it fell under the map or something. I heard it, but... Oh, no, it's there. That's why. But as you can see, this is why we need the um, primordial cube and why we need the uh, extra shielding because there is so much going on with these doubled enemy spawns. And as you can see, the items are really starting to stack up now. We're getting a lot, lot more. So now we can start going for something that's going to help us out a little more in terms of damage. So wait until we've cleared out the majority of these enemies. And our teleport is ready. Um, what is going to be the best for us here? Okay, another item. So let's have a little look-see. Um, we can go for... Attack speed. Of course, there's some of the obvious ones, like attack speed and critical chance. I'll take two attack speeds. Um, and then we'll go for maybe gasoline could be quite fun. Go with a gasoline. And then on, in terms of this, we'll go for... We want something that's going to really, really help us out with destroying enemies quickly. I'm actually going to go for another guillotine early here. And get those started off and ramping up early. Taking off 20-25% 20, 20, of the elite's HP without even attacking it. Really, really nice. Really, really nice indeed. Right, onto this area. We're a little behind the 10-minute time mark to open up that secret chest, which is a shame. Oh, my God, it's pulling all those little things in. we got one of these guys. Boom! I just love it. He's just... This guy, the loader bot's so fun. Got that set up. Boom! And another one fights the dust. I said fights the dust then, and it bites the dust. What are you doing here? Ooh, jellyfish. Got you too, bull. Right. Oh, 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 oh my god, that's a lot of those. Wow. Wowie, that's a lot of those. But yeah, as you can see, our defenses are really ramping up now. Another item there. Let's go for another gasoline, shall we? This early. I didn't quite get him. Uh, we need to find a teleporter. Where else is that? Getting a lot of wisps here. A lot of wisps. Oh, we've got another item down there. And this time we are going to go for some movement speed. Movement speed is definitely good. Yeah, a lot of the same enemies are spawning in here. Nice. These enemies are especially horrible. I don't know if we get an item if they kill themselves, you know. Got ya. Stupid bull. Stupid bully bullshit. Oh, we have a Shrine of Order over there. That's, that's just scary. Turns all your items into the same ones of the same tier. A little bit spookers. There's the teleport. Okay, we know where that is now. Throw that out there. It did not, I did that in the wrong order completely. Alright, you guys. Whoa! They're sailing away. Team Rocket's blasting off again. We've got a few balls spawning in here. 
Shouldn't be too bad to take out. Get some of them in the air. Get you down here. Another item. Beautiful. Oh, sorry, Bull. Not much we can do about you there. Uh, bit more movement speed. Apart from this, Kablamo! Oh my god, I went way too far. <laughs> He's just so fun to play as. He's just so fun. Right, we might want to get some uh, backup magazines to get more uh, more swings going on. More, more, more Tarzan swings. Right, we'll activate this up. We've got the growth tender. This guy can be really, really difficult. We've got to be careful with him. Basically, stay as close to him as I possibly can. Um, and keep hitting him to keep my shield going. With the extra attack speed we have, we should be stacking up the shield relatively quickly. As you can see, we're still on full health. And just got to stay in the action. It's a pretty scary thing to do, actually, because of just how much damage he can do. But you've got, you've got to kind of stick to it. We'll get another one of these. Um, what are we going for now? I don't know what to go for here. Let's, let's wait it out a little bit, shall we? Um... Let's go for a Will of the Wisp. And let's go for a uh, Ukulele. Seems like a good combo. A little bit of Chaining Lightning. A little bit of uh, explosive damage on kill. Kind of nicely pairs with um, Gasoline. That's a lot of Jellyfish, boy. That's a lot of Jellyfish. And that's why that thing's so damn good. Good, you're taken out. Excuse me, sir. No, thank you. And you. No, thank you. More jellyfish. My god, there's so many. Right, off you go, guys. And then you can just see the chain reaction. Beautiful chain reaction. Didn't have to do anything. It's lovely. When we start getting the legendary items are where things start getting real wacky. Right, through we go. Hit, boom. What if that guy dropped an item and I teleported just before I could use it? That would be so sad. So if you're wondering, we're probably going to obliteration this uh, this run. Trying to make it there, because we're onto our last floor of this now. Well, there's, there's actually one more after this now, isn't there? There's a new one. Uh, right, we'll make our way over to that boss over there and take care of him. We can get ourselves a pretty easy legendary on this floor too. I do believe that punch that we do there can, um, can do more damage if we're moving at higher speed, which is nice. Got him before he managed to... Make too much of a fuss, and he gave us an item too. There's actually another one of them over there. You've got to remember they spawn in pairs. Um, I think I'm going to go for some crit chance here. Crit chance seems good. Oh, into the ice. Right, we want to be finding as many. Oh, boom. Of those little egg things that I destroyed earlier as we can. They are scattered throughout everywhere. It will spawn a specific boss that will give us... I oh, might as well pay for a turret. We're not using our money for anything else, are we? Um, it will give us the ability to get a legendary item. So we definitely want to be doing that. we just got to find them. And they're, they're quite numerous. And they spawn in different locations each time you play, I believe. So they're kind of hard to find. I know generally where they spawn. Got two over there by the looks of it. Yeah, hello, sir. You're a boss. Mr. Big Balls, I get you. I get you. So this should take... Yeah, you hear a, a distant whirling. That's to tell us that we're starting the uh, spawning process. I think we've got to get three more, and then we're, the, we're good to spawn. So there's one there, one there. Actually, that, this might be it. One. Oh, no. It's, it's already activated. There you go. So here's the bosses. So these guys can do major damage to us. We've got to be really careful around these guys. Ideally, we get a bunch of other easy enemies spawning nearby. That's a lot of bulls flying about, flying about there. A lot of bulls. Yeah, we've got to be really, really careful around these guys, especially these little orbs they spawn. My god, they're a pain in the ass. Excuse me, sir. We can make our way up to them like this. This character is just so hectic, you've got to get proper in the action. You've just got to be ready to take a big hit, which we're taking right now. As soon as we get the primordial cube going as well, it gets even crazier. And this guy's in the action too, we should probably take him out. 
Oh, we could take heavy damage here. That was close. That was really close. I'm actually going to try and move myself away from this all right now. Because, yeah, I could see that happening. I could see that coming. Luckily, this guy can get away from attacks like that relatively easily. Oh my god, this is so hectic. This is kind of just insanity right now. Take care of you. Always want to get out of the way of that thing there. My god. My god, what is going on? All the other enemies are getting in the way from me dealing good damage, but at the same time they're saving me because the damage that I'm dealing to them is giving me so much shield. Oh my god. Bad, 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 bad. Right, we need to kind of move away from this right now because those little beam attacks are really going to do us in if we're not careful. So we'll move away from that now. They're really trying. They're really trying. They are on pretty low health now, though, which is nice. Definitely, definitely a good sign. Um, more enemies, good. Definitely what I was looking for here. Um, something we definitely need is a pretty big speed boost here. Uh, it's going to be kind of insane in this little hallway here. Kind of insanity. Damn it, no, 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 no. Oh my god. That was close. That guy used his little sucky ability at the wrong time there. Right, we're going to try and take one of them out now. We've got these guys here to take out. Get us a bit of shield going on. Oh, he slows us down so much. I went until his shield's off. Oh, look at him wailing us about. Whoa! Oh my god! This is insanity. Absolute insanity. <laughs> this is why I love this character. This right here is why I love this character. It's just what is going on in here. Oh my god. The grapple hook. Grappling to enemies that move around like this is just insane. We're almost there. We've almost got our legendary. Oh my god. Take the L, little dude. Take the L. He's so close to dead. Okay, one of them's down. One of them's down. Repeat, one of them down. Okay. Now, now becomes the kind of harder challenge in getting this guy. You may think, how is it harder? But all the other enemies are going to be spawning way more on top of us now, I think. There's kind of a limit to how many enemies can be on screen. Not always, but I think. I don't know if um, the horde thing breaks that cap. It might actually break the cap. Oh my god. It seems like there's a lot of enemies here. Almost got him. Almost got him. We got him. Right, set these guys out before they become too much of a problem. Whoa, we just nuked that little pod there. Not seeing an item spawned in that, you crazy. You kidding me? Drop him out the sky. So there should be a legendary for us down here. There we go. So we've got a lot of different choices for legendaries here. There's a lot of really good ones. But by far my favourite, by far my favourite is, um, is, I believe it's this one here. Uh, kills reduce equipment cooldown. That, that stacks pretty high, my dudes. That kind of gets a bit mental. Let's take a teddy bear here for a bit of reduced incoming damage. We're going to have primordial, primordial cubes going off everywhere. Right, and then in terms of this, we're going to go for another ukulele. We want to be spreading our damage as far as we can get it. And we haven't even done the teleporter event yet. That's the crazy thing about all this. Uh, I don't even know where that is. Where is that? Somewhere around here. There it is. Let's activate that. What boss are we going to get? Ah, we just fought a bunch of these. We'll be fine. Just got to be careful with them because... Once they get low on HP, they do a big blast attack, and it really does do a lot of damage, so you've got to be very, very careful about that. This could kill us. Got to be careful. I, I stuck with it, just in case. 
Let's get away, let's get away. Oh my god, I might die here. Nope, looks like my shield saved me. Oh my god. Holy heck a -loney. I'm sticking with it, I'm sticking with it. Got him. Got him before I did the attack. Yeah, as you can see, there is a few enemies about. Bull, you can't run in mid air. What are you what are you thinking? Oh my god. Symphony of death. Right, this one will definitely take that. Boost health and regen. 100% want that. Uh, this one, I'm going to go for some actual healing um, and go with Hit's Heal. It's not exactly the best one in the world for, for this guy, but it'll do. Got some items over there. And I'm going to go for more move speed because we definitely need some of that. As you can see, this is being able to cho choose your own items. Kind of balls out of control. Kind of balls out of control. Cool. What is going on there? Enemies being pulled apart by different... Uh... Oh, I love it. Goodbye. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, so we have some stone titans over there. This guy over here, who we definitely want to be taking out as soon as possible. Good, good, good. He drops an item immediately, which is nice. Wow, this guy is... This guy is taking a beating. He took a few hits there. He took a few hits there. Um, another teddy bear. Chance that incoming damage is negated. Very, very useful for us right now. Right. Take care of these guys. These guys shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, we got them. Right. Now let's go and try and find our teleporter. Wherever that may be. There's more stone titans. Get them. Get them. Good thing about this guy as well is, as you can see there, when you're hitting enemies, you can kind of hover above the ground. That really helps for, like... Loads of status effects and things that happen at ground level. You can just get out of the way of them, like, only just. Yeah, a few of these guys spawning is, is not good for us. I am gonna get the hell out of the way. Okay, here's our teleporter, at least. You need to stop shooting me, dude. You need to stop. Alright, wait until, to until primordial cube procs. Three, two, one, there you go. And that should give us another primordial cube, and another one, and another one, and it just it just keeps going from there. Beautiful, really beautiful. Right, good. Got those out of the way. Head through this floor. There were some stone titans. Haven't fought many of them this floor. Only four so far. Of course, these will be stronger than them ones though, because these are the, the actual boss ones. The bosses that spawn as enemies do actually get treated as enemies and have less health and do less damage. But the, the real bosses do real boss damage. Yeah, that's that one taken care of. Of course, we're not going to get too much damage from those. Oh, your beam. Your beam's going to get me, is it? No, no, no. So many of these are spawning. Just stop it, dude. Get some help. Oh, I love that. Right, attack speed. Um, crowbar. We'll go for a few crowbars. Basically, the initial hit on an enemy when they're above like 90% HP will do a lot more damage. More health and regen. Health and regen is, of course, beautiful. Where are you boys going? Ah, oh, the primordial cube. It's too good, man. It's too good. Um, go for another guillotine. Guillotines have been working well for us so far. This one will go for more ukulele. I'm in love with this run. It's getting so powerful. 
So I'm just taking a sip of my drink there. Right. You're more gonna be spawning in. What y'all doing? What y'all says in? Give me a green item. Um gonna go for a bandolier actually here. On kill, chance to drop a thing that refreshes our cooldowns. Really nice. I'll head on through. We are. I know I could have gone and done another unlock here for um, the artifacts, but I just wanted to kind of play through as we are. Uh, there's a teleport down there. Ooh, we've got a golden area. We'll go to the golden area. Might as well. That has some guaranteed chest spawns. So we can get some extra items with money that way. Oh, hello. These things are the worst. These things are genuinely awful. Die now. Don't get hit by that. It's a pretty much insta-kill from my experience. Got an item here. Um, bit more movement speed, I think. Right. Where are, the, where are the enemies at now? We got another one of these guys up here? I think we do. To be fair, they do spawn in pairs, remember. So I hear one of them. All of those boys. Bandolier is just going to help us out with making sure we can use this as much as possible. Look at that. One punch of those spawned two of those things. What are you doing there, bird? Just chilling. Whoa, what happened there? I don't even know what happened there. Um, get another one of those going. Oh, another green item. Let's go for... Is it this one? Yeah, that's the one. Killing three, three enemies in quick succession ends as a frenzy. Get more gasoline going, stoke the fire. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying. Do a little tree spin here. A little bit of tree spinning. Ooh. Bring it around town. Look how cool our guy looks, too. Boom. <laughs> I just love the way we fired up from our little cube in the middle of all that. There they go. <laughs> oh my god, it's hilarious when that happens. All the crowbars. I'm just waiting for to get enough money to, to use this. We need to get some more crit glasses going. I think that's our next sort of order of business in terms of items. Right. Let you all gather around. Gather around, young boys. Gather around. It's time for death. Um, what would we say we're going to get? Crit, yeah. Bit of lens makers going on. There you go. We'll pop that. Go for our boss. What have we got here? Could be something that kills us. I mean, there is certain bosses. Oh, no. It's, this, we should be fine against this. There is certain bosses that can do an insane amount of damage to us. Obviously, that is not one of them. We almost took a lot of damage there because there was a lot of enemies that did fire damage. But that's not good. We've entered a frenzy, which means we get a lot more fire rate, which means more fist, which means more shielding. So that's always good. He's doing his attack, but I can kill him before he finishes it. Yes. And you are too, but I can get you before you finish it. No, I can't. No, I can't. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Oh, no. I, I blocked it with my teddy bear. Lovely. And I'm going to go for another one of those, actually. More frenzy. Even more frenzy. Boom! Oh, damn it. I didn't quite reach those then. Don't worry, you're all getting grouped up now. It's just insanity. It's just insanity. I, I, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, birds. You're all dead. Another activate? I'm supposed we could change up our activate item to something else. Um, kind of want to go for another one of these. These are just fun. Oh, that's a legendary. That's a legendary up there. Okay, so I know what I want for my next legendary. 
So you guys heck off a minute. So many birds, my god. Right. I do not want to use the teleporter. I want to jump on top of this. There you go. Eat it open. Afterburner. Where's that? There you go. This gives us another two uses of our fist, which is just amazing. Right, it's heading to here. Um, more crit. Let's keep going. Right, this shouldn't be too hard at all. Basically, with this, we've got to get a bunch of money, then activate a bunch of totems. It spawns a boss, and we've got to kill him under a certain under a certain amount of time. Otherwise, he like we have to reactivate all the totems again. Ooh, is that some Malachite boys? That is some Malachite boys. Once Malachite starts getting involved, that's when you start dying. Malachite is dangerous. Luckily, we have damage. But also, these guys are getting carried away, which is nice. Where's the Malachite guy? Where are you? I can hear him, but I can't see him. That's very scary to me. Them little things that you put on the floor, they they demolish you. They demolish you. Is that him? No, that him. Them enemies are also kind of pain to the asses too. Yeah, the Malachite guys have tons of HP and do a hell of a lot more damage than normal enemies. They're like mega champions. I think he, I think he died. Right, let's use our items here. So crit, crit, crit. Uh, what we are now for crit glasses, I want to get to 100. So I want to get 10 of them. On 7 at the minute. All right, good, good, good. Right, now we need to start activating these totems. We've probably got enough to activate all of them now. Whoopsie, I got stuck on the ground. Um, there's that chest there. So, yeah, one. Got one over here. All of them seem to be at the back over there. Which is actually kind of good for us. Get this one next. this, and this one, and this one, then this one, then this one. Ah, missed it. No. Right, I've got to kill this guy fast. And remember, there's going to be two of them, too. Oh, my God. Stuff's going down now. Right, line it up with some other enemies behind to do electro damage. Please don't kill me, sirs. These drop a pretty cool item as well. You have to spawn them in as a companion for teleporter events in the future. It's pretty awesome. Wow, we're really not doing much damage to these guys at all. These are very tanky. If we, in which case, we're going to have to reactivate all those beacons again if we don't kill them in time. What on earth just happened? There's so many explosions going on right now, I can't even... I don't even know. We're so close. We're so close. Ah, no, don't launch me into the sky. Ah, oh, they're protected again. They're protected. Right. This is really difficult. We could definitely die here. Just because of how much damage they they truly do, it's insane. Oh, don't zoom past it. God damn it. So how many is that of them done? Three, four. We've got one over there as well, remember. Oh hello, what are you what are you guys doing here? Stop. Is that all of them done after this one? Okay, get behind this rock. That attack is really bad for us, so uh, definitely get out of the way of that. Activate this. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Right, now we have a, a much bigger time frame to get them, so we should be able to get them pretty easily. Yeah, we got them. Nice one. Right, where's the items? There it is. Give me that. Give me some lens makers. Some lens makers. Any more lens makers going? I think we need one more. There you go, ten lens makers. Ow. Rude. 
Get over here. Oh, wait. No, you're too heavy. Fat bitch. Don't know why the portal spawned in such a slant like that. Uh, let's go with another one of these. And another bandolier, I think. Right, away we go. What are you doing, sir? Just stop. Ah, an item. Oh, it's just an active item. I thought it was a legendary at first. I kind of shot myself. Ooh. Trying the mountain. More bosses. That's always fun. Oh, my God. Do you see this destruction that we're unfolding onto enemies right now? That is meant to be a boss. Malachite enemy right here. This guy needs to go now. Damn, we killed him in one hit. That's kind of insane. Crits for days, boy. Another Malachite guy over there. Oh, another Shrine of the Mountain? Yes, please. Right, there's our uh, boss over there. Right, all of you come this way. I don't know how I'm... What the ha How did I even miss there? What even happened for me to miss there? Got another item here. Uh, more bandolier. Just want to be able to use my ability as much as possible. Another item here. Um, let's get some more ukuleles going. Group enemies up and charge them down. Uh, we're going to have a look to see if there's any more Shrine in the Mountains. The possibility of up to four. Whoa, that's a really nice bounce we just got there. It's kind of beautiful. Kind of majestic. Nothing down there. Can't see anything anywhere. Right, let's zoom around this and away we go. We are. Did I get that or not? I don't think I did. Oh wait, there is a, there is another one down there. Hello. One more, please. No way. We're going to have a hell of a lot of bosses spawning. Remember, so that's going to be not double, not triple, but quadruple bosses. And they are going to be doubled. Oh, we did activate it. Okay. Oh, no, we didn't. What the hell? Oh, my God. It's annoying. Wow. Oh, my God. The amount of freeze. The amount of freeze right then. Right. Let's just see just how many bosses spawn. Now, it's going to be kind of insane. I really hope it's not a super hard boss. Ooh. That's, that's going to be pretty bad for us. That is going to be pretty bad for us. We have to be really, really careful with these guys. Because they do a lot of damage. Oh my god. Okay, they all killed each other. So that's nice. They all dropped quite a lot of items too, by the looks of things. So, uh, that was... that was mental. Right, let's, let's pick up some items, shall we? Uh, what are we going to go for here? Um, let's go for some red whips. Excuse me, sir. Very rude. Oh my god, let me pick up my items, sirs. Please. Uh, another red whip. Oh my god, there's so many enemies, it's insane. It's actually insanity. I can drop another item. My god, sir. My god. Um, backup magazine. We need a few of those. Let's get a few backup magazines from these whites here. Then from this. Oh, for God's sake. I didn't mean to do that. It's just the jellyfish are the worst. Oh, don't drag it towards the thing I'm going to. That's just inconvenient. Right. Take care of them. We should be able to get all of these now. So, infusion, infusion, infusion. Uh, then let's go with a um, fire band, ice band, backup, and fire band. Through here we go. For more gesture of the drowns. <laughs> oh, this is getting wacky. 
Oh boy, this is getting kind of insane. Boom. So I'll have uh, one of these, please, and one of these, please, and one of these, please. Thank you. I'll take my gesture to drown for even quicker cooldowns. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I could get a bunch more legendaries here, I suppose. Um, how many of my green items do I really, really need? Not that many of them, to be honest. Uh... I'm going whole hog, boys. I'm going whole hog. Um, so we'll go with a behemoth. We'll go with... I mean, another one of those could be really fun. Um... Hmm. Trying to think what would be really, really good for us here. Let's go with another one of these, because they're just fun. Um, and isn't Brainstalks really good? I can't remember what Brainstalks it does. I don't remember it being good. Skills have no cooldown for a short period for killing an elite. That sounds really good. Cool. Cool. So we're, we're pretty powerful now. We did lose uh, some of our ukuleles and such, but we'll get it back. Don't worry, we'll get it back. Right. What's going on here? Why is it so red? Is there a magma worm nearby? We are pretty powerful here. I definitely want to change up my active item just to see what happens with some of the other ones that are possible. Like, every one kill, we get a new fucking equipment usage. It's crazy. More move speed, I think. Another green item over there. So, we want, we're going for a bunch of infusions, uh, so let's stick with that path. Oh, my God. Yeah, no thanks there. Uh, infusion. We need to get our... Um, we actually kept our guillotines, that's nice. I got frozen! Ah! Maybe it's brain stalks that's making our uh, screen go red. That's a legendary. Hey yo. Um, so, for that one we'll go with Ceremonial Knife, maybe? And then for this we'll go with this. Get that back. This is going to be pretty powerful. No active items yet. Oh, there you go. There's an active item right now. Um, what would be interesting here? Oh my god. So, yeah, this is kind of insanity. Uh... Trying to figure out what would be really good here. Let's try this thing. This thing could be insane. Seems kind of insane. Cool. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> So if we uh, if we stand here, get our boss spawned, and then just kind of just kind of chill, walk around, not really do anything. There you go. Ah, a nice relaxing day. <laughs> just chill. It's fine. It's cool. Everything's good. Everything's all good. Ah. My god, toilet. <laughs> chill out. Beautiful. So this is uh, quite powerful, I'd say. Quite powerful, I'd say. Will it ever stop? 
Will it ever stop? Who knows? Who knows if it'll ever stop? <laughs> I'm interested. Doesn't seem likely though. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think this would be this powerful. Any enemies to spawn? Anyone? There you go. Incoming. Into the pit of death you, you enter. So maybe I don't want this active item because it gets a little, a little too crazy. Not going to lie, it's a little too much. Right, um, bandolier. Let's go with more of that. We've already got 10, we shouldn't really get 11. More teddy bears. So there's our ticket out of here. Probably about time we left. <laughs> Probably about time we left. Considering this is like a 50 minute run. It's, it's kind of... It's got past the point of insanity. I just want to check the level, see if there's any like... Items that we didn't get to see because of the enemies that died to these rockets. But there's items everywhere. These rockets just give no shits. Like, do you see how many rockets they fire in one barrage? They fire rockets for, let's, let's count it. They fire rockets for one, two, they fire rockets for two seconds. And we had that firing continu continually for an entire teleporter event. That's like 90 seconds more. It's mental. I don't even know why I'm taking the items at this point. We are gonna obliterate ourselves. What we could have done is gone with Royal Capacitator. That thing's insane with this. It's only got like a five second cooldown. It just shreds. We can't use it right now, but... Oh my... There's just missiles falling out the sky. There you go. We'll head through the Celestial Portal and destroy ourselves. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was, of course, not going to be what we do in the majority. I do want a challenge. But I wanted to show you just how fun and crazy and overpowered the artifacts can get you. Right, so we can just go zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom. Good, good, good. And zoom. What up? I am sure, thank you. There you go. Run over, 43 minute run. Wow, that was fun. How many kills? 1,131. Nice, love it. 20 levels deep. Beautiful. Very, very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Obviously, like I said, not going to be the usual. Um, I do want you guys to give me combinations for what you want me to use in terms of artifacts. Some for challenge, some for fun. I'm okay with either, as long as it's not ridiculously difficult. Like, just use all the artifacts. I might, I might do that eventually, but I don't even have them all locked yet. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.